Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews and if you want to make baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends that helps the channel out so much as the making of this video, I think I'm at 289 so 11 away from 300 subscribers guys I can't thank you enough and let's end this week with the last the deal series bought uh, picked up. I don't think I will be picking up any more studio series after this review. Uh, I genuinely think that's me done with the studio series franchise. It's it's really been a hit and miss with me. Um, Barricade kind of came in uh, uh, with certain aspects. It's not as bad as the Bumblebee World War 2 or the Bumblebee Camaro. Um, the likes of the O1 edition, but as you can see, to get him to roll flat, it doesn't really want to do it. Now everything's clearing, but like this leg, it's just that wee bit off the ground. Now, and you can tell at the back, pegs are not want to stick in because of transformation. I have no idea why Studio Series always does this. Uh, it just strikes so many questions in how they pass these and, like, you get some at work and some at don't. Like, clearly, even looking down at you can see it's starting to pop there. And even if I squeeze those in, it just fixes up maybe temporary. Give it over time and they'll start to go again. But that's the downside in Barricade's vehicle form. To house his weapon, um, that big lawnmower of his, you just have to pick it up and underneath, just adjust a little bit. That just sits in here. If I can get it incorrect, there we go. Peg it in there and pull it back. He's got his lawnmower ready to cut grass. <laughs> I think it looks silly. I really do, I don't like it. Um, then it brings me on to the next point and I can see why Toy Hacks stepped in and fixed it. Now, let's take this off. And let's look at it for a second. Now you have all this see-through plastic up the top, which basically shows you everything where it's hiding. And I think it looks horrible. I don't think that's nice at all. It makes it look really cheap. And it's lacking like some like certain features that you've seen on the original bot, if I remember. Like even the front. I mean, look how boring that looks. There's hardly any detail in that at all. And I'm positive. It means is, but means is actually put away. My 07 edition, right? And I'm sure the 07 edition looked like it had more detail. Now, the studio series was meant to be those kind of rebirth of the like the movie toys um but a lot has fell flat and again this is one so how do they pass that as that looks amazing where again you could take a chinese knockoff or you look at the likes of other variations that look 10 times better I just don't get it. I really don't get it with Studio Series sometimes. But Toy Hacks did fix a lot of things. If I had the decals, they had 
extra like decals around the back here, a better Decepticon logo. Uh, they add like a silver decal up here which covers this clear plastic, cover the windows so you don't see where his body's hiding. And I think there's something that goes on the front. I'll actually have to look at the set. Um, it's not something I will be picking up, unfortunately. I will not probably spend money on this guy. Um, that's just a sad scenario. It's the way it's going to stay. Transformation it can be a bit tricky. Um, I did have to use instructions and also check out a few videos. Uh, how it worked, how everything pieced together. So I'll get my transformation mode and we'll have a look at the robot. And here is Barricade transformed again. It's like he's missing a lot of detail. Compared to the 07 version, I prefer how this bot looks. I will give it credit in that. The head sculpture looks a bit better. And it's got a bit more articulation than the original. The arms look a lot tidier as well. That I do like. I didn't like the original one where you just had to bend it in three places and that was kind of it. Then he had like his spider hands that came down. And of course now you can stand better as well. Everything basically as you can see is hidden on his backpack and it's quite a unique way how it transforms, how they all fold and twist into each other. That I do like, but again, I would watch a video or like just properly look at instructions how it's done just before you do it the first time. Well, points are taken off, apart from the lack of like, detail. The weapon, again, just... It just sits there. You have to basically close these hands on in each other. When Once they click, they'll form the shape where you can put the port in. And as soon as you've done that, you're thinking it'll stick. But, no. It just... It, really just doesn't want to stick at all um it's just one of those things i guess so overall it's it's better than the world war Two bumblebee um but it's not as good as a side swipe figure uh, i picked up along with it and that's kind of how i'm just done now with studio series i don't think they're going to get any better i do not care about devastator at all, um, I know people are going on about that one. I'm happy with the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator uh, back in the day, the big gigantic one. I'm looking at it just now, and I'm a lot happier with that compared to having a Studio Series one. Hey, uh, I'm done. I'm absolutely done with Studio Series now. Uh, I think there's a lot of his light gap, and I'm going to focus more on the Siege and Earthrise line. Um, I've got Earthrise bots on their way. I've got a ton of Toy Hacks decals, which is going to take up a lot of time, but it's going to be worth it in a few upgrade kits. But Studio Series, I think, is done. I think it's had its day in the channel. We've I've had good moments with it. 05 Prime. The I, I know there's a few other ones that I really did love. Um, the Bumblebee um, one was incredible. The actual Volkswagen. And the, some of the Bumblebee movie bought. Starscream was good. So you're looking at ones like that and you're like, where did it go wrong? Um, Darkman Megatron was brilliant because now finally we had the toy we should have got. Uh, but there's some other ones like the Darkman Optimus Prime um, was just horrendous. And the fact that we have to do the extra work to make it look good, no. So that was that. But let's get a size comparison. Let's bring in... That 05 knockoff prime. Zoom out for this one. Sharpen up the camera, that gives you a rough height. Uh, he is actually quite tall. If I was to put him next to the official one, I'd say roughly about here with the 05 prime. But I think I think it's a good size for Barricade considering the car now. It goes nice with side swipe. Uh, it's just, it's a sad day that's it done for me. Uh, <laughs> just looking back on it all now. I've got to be done. Um, I don't, I don't think 
they will improve uh, again. It's like one of the ones I think I'm not trying to shit on uh, like the actual series, so to say. Uh, I know I've never sworn a video, but I know people like them. I personally don't, and I will not be wasting any more money. Uh, like I said, the only reason I bought those three was because they were just, and that was the only reason I done it. So. Let's take one last look at Barricade. Like, the detail is good in the face, but the rest of it could have been a lot better. And that sums up to the real series in a nutshell for me. It looks okay, but it could have been better. So, up next, I have no idea, Transformer fans. We are waiting on Airfrys figures. We are waiting on Toy Hacks decals. I am waiting on upgrade kits for said Siege figures. <laughs> uh, there's a few big ones coming um, with the decal sets and I will be doing the reviews with the bot and the decal set combined so it's going to it's it's going to be a while um, and I think having a little break before them is going to be good so this will be the last video for probably a week or two maybe three um, just before my birthday Uh and then I'll try and get everything ready for then. Um, in the meantime, I'll still be doing a couple of podcasts. I will have the second part with Danny. We will be recording this uh, a week today. Today's Saturday, so it will be a week today. Roughly at this time, we will be making a new podcast. And we'll see what other things I can bring to the channel. I might do a live stream. I've actually toyed with bringing the Transformers movies comic books. I actually forgot I bought all them, and I found them. So I might bring them as a video, just to let you see them, if you don't know what I'm talking about in the UK. Uh, I'll see how, how it goes down. I'll, I'll ask you in the chat. Please leave a message in the chat for something you, you guys would like to see. But why is just now? It's waiting. <laughs> it's the waiting game to everything shows. Uh, because it's coming from obviously America, one part from China, and the rest is in the UK. But guys, thank you as always. Close to 300, can't thank you enough. Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Bulba Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any amount of social media links all the descriptions are in the description box below and of course as always i cannot stress this enough i wish to thank cybertronic spree for allowing me to use their song cybertronic warrior as the theme of this channel guys this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the transformers 1986 movie soundtrack please follow them and all the social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out, and as always, Transformer fans, till all are one.